All right, again, this is still something I'm trying to understand properly, so there might be some stuff I'm getting wrong, but here is my current understanding on how obstruction and occlusion works and why. Let's talk about obstruction first. One other thing I did in my level was to set up a moving wall that hides and unhides the speakers from the big room at a steady pace. This is in order to showcase the obstruction feature of voice. Let's take a listen. What's happening here is that when the direct path from the speakers is blocked by an object, some filtering is applied. That sounds pretty much like the portal example, isn't it? That's because this is the exact same thing. Obstruction and diffraction are basically the same thing. Obstruction is the technique, diffraction is the real life phenomenon. We use obstruction to simulate diffraction. This filtering is driven by the built-in obstruction and occlusion parameters in WISE. Let's take a look. This is essentially how much volume reduction, low pass filtering or high pass filtering should be applied when a specific amount of obstruction or occlusion is currently going on in the engine. That amount is in percentage and is calculated by the game engine. All right, let's talk about occlusion. While obstruction simulates the real life phenomenon known as diffraction, occlusion and all the real life phenomenon known as transmission. Transmission is the acoustic phenomenon when a sound hit an object and some of its power is able to pass through that object. Let me show you. Let's take that pair of speakers here. You see that yellow sphere? This is the attenuation sphere. This is basically a visual representation in Unreal of the attenuation curves inside wise. This sphere is driven by the distance parameter inside the edit attenuation curve window. Remember, all music playlist containers contained within the WISE event have the same attenuation curve. In a nutshell, at the frontier of that sphere, we shall not hear anything anymore. Let's start that level just below that pair of speakers. Logically, we should still hear them since we are not only still within that sphere, but also pretty much right below those speakers. Let's connect WISE to the engine and solo those speakers so we can focus on them. We air nothing. That's because occlusion filtering has been applied and transmission is in full effect. The floor on top of the player right now is completely blocking the path of the sound coming out of the speaker on top level. As you can see, volume has been set so that when transmission is going at 100%, volume is completely reduced. Let's try that again, but let's disable the occlusion volume curve. So now we are hearing the pair of speakers on the top floor as they were right beside us. At that point, only thing handling how we heard that specific pair of speakers is the attenuation curve. One thing to note also is that transmission has to be enabled in the Unreal project settings for it to function properly. 